This is a one bedroom cabin at the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, a Disney Vacation Club resort. Today we are staying in cabin 2530 on Mallard Trail. Let's walk around here and take a look. To start things off, we're gonna start outside of our cabin here. Each of these cabins has a little driveway in it. We currently have our rental car here. You have enough room to park one car at each of these cabins. On the outside of the cabin facing the driveway is a set of outlets available. 110 outlets. If you're not familiar with Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, if you don't have a car, you can rent a golf cart that you can park here at your cabin. And these outlets are primarily used to charge your golf carts. To the left of the cabin outside is this charcoal grill. Charcoal and lighter fluid are available at both trading posts at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. This charcoal grill did have a cover on it. I'm gonna put that back on here in just a second. And they do provide you with grilling tools inside. Now on the outside of your cabin here is this nice little deck space. Walking up the stairs here to the left, you have a nice little shoe brush that you can use to clean off your shoes before you enter. You also have a table out here with some benches underneath. And you also have two armchairs that you can move around. So you can sit six people here at this bench. And then there's also another set of outdoor 110 outlets available. Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground is known to have guests decorate their patios or their campsites. So that is a really nice touch. Your staircase over here is also lit with these LED lights. The outside of the cabin here has some floor to ceiling windows and the main entrance door to the cabin. So let's head on in and take a look. As we walk into our cabin here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, we are greeted by the kitchen and living room space. The cabins in the DVC rooms here have a full-size kitchen with a dining table here that sits four people. This full-size kitchen does have a residential style fridge and freezer. The freezer in these cabins does include a built-in ice maker. You also have a stove and range set up here with a five burner stove, full two rack oven. You have two oven towels here, two dish towels. And then underneath the stove here is a little drawer here that has some frying pans. Also on the counter here, you do have your in-room toaster, which you can plug into either of these two outlets over here. You also have these nice green oven mitts that fit the theme to Fort Wilderness. And then you have a dual purpose K-cup and 12 cup carafe Keurig coffee maker here that you can use to make your in-room coffees and teas. This also includes some paper coasters, sugar, sugar substitute, and dairy creamer. Paper towels next to the Keurig. And then you have a sink here built into the counter with a built-in garbage disposal right there. And then you do also have another set of outlets to the left of the sink for extra counter plugs. Now the cabinets here in the kitchen to the left of the stove here. There's a little shelf in the back, but it is pre-stocked here with a baking tray and a cutting board. This drawer right here has all of your silverware, as well as a bottle opener and a can opener. And the cabinet underneath has some more saucepans. It has a larger frying pan and then a stock pot on that top shelf there. You have a full-size residential style dishwasher available for you to use. Under the sink, you have a collapsible dish drying rack with extra paper towels for the room. You have some powder dishwasher detergent, some liquid sink dishwashing detergent, a sponge, and then you also have a stopper for the sink right there. This drawer here has some cooking utensils on the right, and then you also have some grilling utensils on the left. And then the cabinet beneath that is gonna be home to 
your in-room garbage and recycling cans. Cabinets above the counter here. This one is gonna have your plates, bowls, and drinkware. At the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground, your regular glassware are these nice little mason jar glasses that you typically find over at Whispering Canyon, which is a really nice rustic touch. And you also have extra shelf space above that. The cabinet over in the corner here has a glass baking dish, plastic pitcher, and a strainer. And in this cabinet to the left of the microwave, you have some mixing bowls, you have some food storage containers, some serving dishes, and you also have a measuring cup there. You also have this forbidden space, so you don't have an extra shelf up there. And then these cabinets here are strictly for decoration. You cannot open these. But funny enough, above the refrigerator here, you can open these cabinets, but it is home to your Wi-Fi router. So I don't suggest storing anything up there. I actually don't know that you're allowed to open that or supposed to open it. We're gonna head over here to the right of the kitchen. This is going to be one of the sinks here in the cabin. The sink is stocked here with bath soap and body lotion. You also have three washcloths available. Nice little themed mirror with some backlight. You also have two hand towels, a box of tissues here. You have two outlets for plugging devices in and then the light switch for the mirror right there. You also have a makeup mirror that is lit. Underneath the sink down here is where you're gonna find extra toilet paper and tissues. And that is where you're gonna find the in-room hair dryer. You also have a waste basket underneath this sink as well. And to the left of the sink here is going to be the bathroom for the cabin. This is the only bathroom in the entire cabin. You have a toilet. You have another vanity here, one sink vanity, stocked with three washcloths, two hand towels, bath soap, and body lotion. You also have outlets tucked away in the back on this side. Waste basket in between the toilet and the sink here. And then a nice little touch that they throw in this bathroom here is this little step stool that you can pull out for the kiddos. And it also has a little hidden Mickey inside, which is very nice. Attached to the vanity on this side here is a little closet space. Up top is a little storage cubby that has the in-room iron. This closet comes fully stocked with a vacuum cleaner. You also have a collapsible laundry hamper. You have a broom and a dustpan back here. You also have your in-room ironing board as well. This bathroom comes stocked with six bath towels available, two on racks behind the door and four on racks in front of the toilet and the shower. And you do have a very nice large glass wall shower here that comes with a shower mat. Wall mounted Disney Resorts branded sea marine shampoo and conditioner and sea salt body wash. Cubby above that and then you also have a clothesline that you can stretch across the shower here for drying off bathing suits and clothing. And then you do have a dual shower head set up in this bathroom. You have a handheld shower head here and a nice wall mounted rainfall shower head there. No bathtub in these cabins for DVC, which is very surprising because the old cabins did have bathtubs, something that families with small children really like to utilize. Making our way out of the bathroom here next to this other vanity is a very nice canvas painting here advertising archery at Fort Wilderness. Here you have Chip and Dale practicing their archery skills. This is a paid experience that you can do at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. I want to put some pricing here at the bottom of the screen in case you're ever interested in doing that. Making your way out of the bathroom area back into the kitchen and the living room space. We're gonna head over here to, or towards the living room. You have a nice sitting chair here. 
a coffee table. No storage in the coffee table, but you can move it around if you do choose. You have a couch here that does convert into a Murphy style bed if you need the extra sleeping space. You have a couple of end tables littered around the living space here. This one here is gonna have the remote for your nice big 65 inch TV, which does have the updated hotel room software that is resort and room specific. The art on this wall above the couch here is really nice. Here you see Mickey and Pluto trailering Mickey's trailer for a nice extended stay at the Fort Wilderness Campground. On either side of this sofa here, you do have a set of outlets with a USB-A and a USB-C port built in. One on the left between the counter and the sofa. And then another one over here under the TV, you can see there's two outlets, USB-A and USB-C. Now the new DVC cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground do have a lot of windows. This allows for natural light to come in to the cabin here. But if you wish not to have this natural light, you can close these blinds at the very top using these chains here. And they do a pretty good job of keeping the light out. The front door here does also have a blind that you can open and close at your leisure. But these floor to ceiling windows that you have out here that go onto the patio, they do not have blinds. They have these blackout curtains that slide back and forth. And they are wilderness themed, which is really nice. One thing I did notice during our one night stay here was that when this blind is closed, you can easily see in and out of the cabin through this little gap here. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling from the bedroom over to the bathroom and you have this blind closed, people can see you. I have seen people and I really wish I had not. We're gonna make our way into the bedroom here. The door to the bedroom is going to be to the left of the TV in the living room. And the bedroom here at the DVC cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground have a queen size bed. You have four pillows to choose from on this bed. And then you also have two built-in twin bunk beds. These bunk beds are really more designed for younger children or smaller adults. They do come equipped with a pillow, a nice decorative pillow. They have these nice themed blankets here. And they also come with extra comforters rolled up in case you do need them. Each of these bunk beds does have its own individual lantern that you can turn it off right here. And they also have a USB-A port built into the side for charging devices. You have a nice themed backdrop that continues all the way up into the other bunk here. Here you can see Chip and Dale, and then well, only what I can assume is Donald enjoying a nice nap in the wilderness. Built into the bunk beds down here, you have three small drawers for additional storage. One, two, three. You have a nightstand here in between the bed and the bunk beds. This nightstand does have your in-room phone, a Hey Disney device, drawer with a Bible, and then nice little cubby space underneath for storing small items such as bags. You have a sconce up above the nightstand here that you can turn on and off right here. Two 110 outlets, a USB-A and a USB-C port are available. The headboard for the queen size bed here does have built-in reading lamps that you can adjust just like that. These turn on and off automatically when you take them out and put them away. And then above the headboard, you have some nice wood burning art of Chip and Dale and some oak leaves, which just adds a really nice touch to this room. You also have some artwork over here, paying homage to some other Fort Wilderness landmarks here. You have Pioneer Hall, the Tri-Circle D Ranch, the Bike Barn. You also have a nod to River Country, which is the original water park at Walt Disney World that was attached to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. That closed back in 2001. Now on the other side of the bed here, you kind of have this little 
tiny shelf or nightstand. You do also have two more 110 outlets, a USB-A and a USB-C port available. Now across from the bed here is going to be your dresser and closet space for the bedroom. You have an open closet here that we are currently using to store our bags. You have three shelves available. You have a nice little luggage rack and then you have some pants hangers, some shirt hangers, extra pillow and blanket right off top here. To the left of the closet here is going to be your dresser and TV. You have a 55 inch TV in the bedroom here. Once again, with the updated hotel software that is hotel and room specific. On either side of the dresser, you do have two 110 outlets, a USB-A and a USB-C port. You have three drawers here. And then you have a cabinet with some extra shelves. This top shelf here does have the in-room safe available for you. Now, one unique thing about the Fort Wilderness cabins I have found is this window right here in the bedroom that you can actually open to let some fresh air into the cabin. This is not something that you typically see in Disney resorts where you can open the windows. However, these are kind of like little tiny homes. So it adds a nice touch. You can get some wilderness noises. You can get some fresh air in. You can also get some golf cart and bus traffic noise, if that's what tickles your fancy. Here is what the living room and kitchen space looks like with the Murphy style bed pulled down. You do have a little bit of room to walk around, not a lot of space to put this rolling coffee table or ottoman. I tucked it away in the back over there. But when the bed is pulled down, you do have this very nice mural of Mickey and Pluto and Chippendale camping out in the wilderness. Light switch on this side here turns off the accent lighting above there. And then this bed does come pre-made with blankets and sheets, but no pillows. If you do need pillows, you have the extra pillows and blankets in the bedroom on top of the closet. So that concludes our tour of the one bedroom DVC cabin at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Point values for this cabin vary depending on the time of year, anywhere between 15 and 36 points per night. For one night in the middle of August on a weekday, this room cost us 20 points. If you enjoyed this room tour and would like to see more like this in the future, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Monorail Central for more Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Disney Vacation Club content, as well as more Walt Disney World Monorail Project. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all real soon.